My name is Sara Trajcevska and I'm coming from the Republic of Macedonia. And this is uh, why I chose Macedonia as one of the countries that I'm going to compare. For the second country, I chose Serbia as its uh, neighboring country. As a macroeconomic indicator for this presentation, I chose the CPI because it's significant and many other indicators depend on its predictive ability. Overall, the CPI reflects the inflation and the increased cost of living or standard of living in the society. As we already studied, the CPI is basically a measure of the overall prices of goods and services bought by a typical consumer. And personally, I prefer uh, CPI over GDP just because it includes the imports that consumers are also buying. Uh, it's uh, one of the indicators that it's also constantly analyzed uh, in the media sources. However, it has several drawbacks. So the first drawback uh, would be uh, that uh, uh, it's volatile from month to month. So this would mean that the actual uh, goods and services included in the basket are changing from month to month. And uh, also the second drawback uh, would be uh, that it's exposed to several biases, such as the substitution bias or the introduction of uh, new goods and services. Okay, so let's move on to the actual comparison and the graphs. As you can see on this graph, I took uh, the data in the range of five years, so from 2010 to 2015. And I would like to mention that there was no available information after the year 2015. Also, what is uh, noticeable on this graph is that both of these uh, ex-Yugoslavian countries, they do not have the strongest economies. Uh, okay, so let's move on to the analysis of the graph. So first, uh, what is noticeable is that from 2010 to 2011, both of the countries uh, experienced a huge increase in the CPI. And for Serbia, it was from 6.1 uh, to 11.1. And for Macedonia, it was from 1.5 uh, to 3.9. And the whole reason uh, behind this uh, were the food price shocks due to the bad weather and rising international food prices. After 2011, Serbia's CPI was decreasing at a fast pace, with the exception of 2013, uh, when the inflation rose just because of the increase of imports prices. On uh, the other hand, we can see that Macedonia experienced a constant fall in the CPI with no significant changes. Both of the countries are categorized as politically unstable, and this is why the new government's regulations, which were adopted in 2013, uh, led to the, the significant downfall of the CPI for both countries in 2014. After this, uh, the CPI remained more or less stable. Even though we can see on this graph that Macedonia was doing better than Serbia in the uh, beginning and uh, the following years, but right now Macedonia is experiencing a, a deflation while, while Serbia has a normal inflation rate. However, this is not enough to conclude that one country is doing better than the other country. We would have to look closely at all of the indicators due to the fact that they are all closely interrelated.